Hello and welcome, gnomes and nomads. Welcome back to Castle Goat and to the gladiatorial pit. Nothing has changed since the last time you saw. No nomad, really? But we've got a gladiatorial pit, it even works. My lord, gnomes are hard bunched, please. But uh, there is a new Nomoria version out at the moment, and speaking about this, there are a few things that I'm going to need to do. First and foremost, I, I guess I could uh, go over what has changed. Now, the big thing that has changed is the first iteration of the, um, the Golem update has come into the game. Now, currently, Golems no longer spawn due to darkness. They spawn due to piles of unstockpiled uh, items. I'm just checking this area. I'm fairly sure I have uh, removed everything from this area. Yes, I have. We're, we're all good on that level. What about this one? Now, the there are only certain types of items which a golem can be made out of. People were wondering if uh, we would be seeing clippings golems, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, golems can spawn from soil, raw stone, raw ore, so not metal bars, thankfully, logs, blocks, bar... Oh, actually, no, bars as well. <laughs> there I am. But uh, bars and planks. So, no food golems. We're not going to be seeing any bread golems anytime soon. But uh, we may see magnetite, uh, well actually we'll see copper golems, and then we may see uh, uh, actual copper bar golems. We could see basalt block golems, or just raw basalt golems, or dirt golems. All manner of golems. Now let me just have a look. Before this uh, update came through, you may have noticed that the uh, fort has been running rather smoothly for the last few days, or, well, the last season in Gnome time. As a result, we've managed to uh, get quite a lot of the stockpiling done. There's a few odd things down there, and I guess I should go down there to uh, pick all of that up at some point soon. But uh, on the whole, things seem to be okay. So we're going to go all the way back up. We're likely not going to have to worry too much about that. However, in addition to the go the golem update, oh, by the way, if you destroy a golem that has formed, it'll just become the items again. I don't know how long it takes to form, and I don't know how many items need to be uh, in, in proximity to each other or how close they need to be for a golem to form. But uh, I guess we're going to find that out on the next mining trip. But in addition to this, we have some new walls. So, let's check some of these out. You know what I'm like with uh, buildings. Now, let's have a look. All of these are... Actually, I think that's different. Smooth and carved. Okay, let's uh, see this one. We'll make these out of uh, basalt for the sake of uh, testing. And uh, let's place a smooth wall there. We will then have a carved wall. Again, out of basalt. Have the carved wall there. Ooh, that looks nice. That looks very nice. I can't quite make it out with the ghosted image, but it looks like it's going to be quite fancy. Uh, bone wall. We've got the ceramic wall. Oh, it actually just requires a clay clump. Okay, check that out. Ooh. And next up... What else have we got? Oh my god. Cross-framed soil wall. V-framed soil wall. Alright, well, we'll have a look at these. Cross-framed. Actually, hang on. What's that required to make? A plank. Oh, okay. It's very interesting. We'll also have a V-shaped soil wall. Now, I imagine the other ones. Ooh, look at that. Now, that is quite swanky. That is a very, very swanky uh, piece of wall there. Hmm. Almost tempted to replace these with them. That would actually work as a pillar, honestly. That is that is good looking enough. Oh, I wonder if we could uh, replace some of these. Maybe replace some of these ones around there. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll, I'll have to have a think about this. Now, what else have we got? Actually, the ceramic wall is probably... We, no, no, we still do have a clay clump. How many do we need? Just one. Uh, cross frame stone. Uh, block... Wood panelled. Oh, we'll check out the... I imagine these are just going to be like the dirt ones only made of, of stone. Actually, I should probably uh, specify what stone I want to make so I can compare them properly. No, 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 no. I definitely don't want it to be made of lapis lazuli. That would burn my eyes out. 
Let's uh, make this a basalt. And you know what? Let's have a, a pine plank. Oh, I wonder if it will look differently based on the types of woods that are used. Because if so, then there is an awful lot of uh, room for you to be quite specific in how you set these ones up. Let's see if it, that mattered. What's this one? A V-framed dirt wall. Worth 10. How much is this? Worth 10. Okay. Well, we'll soon see. I imagine the block versions of them are simply... I mean, if, if those are dirt behind there and this is just stone, it looks like the normal stone texture. I can't quite tell. But uh, perhaps it would be the same with blocks. But these ones are different. Wood panelled block wall. We'll uh, try that one out. We'll make it out of pine as well for comparison purposes. And next, what else have we got? Cross-framed smooth wall. Wood panelled smooth wall. Okay, we'll use that one. Let's have a look at this. Now, the thing that's going through my mind right now is like, God damn it! Now I'm going to be looking at my fort, thinking of all the places that I can change things. Make it more work for me by giving me more options. But, uh, no, I can, I can definitely see a few things we can do there. Now, we've definitely made those out of pine. Let me just uh, test this. Uh, we want a... Let's uh, use a, a cross-frame block wall and we'll... No, actually, for the sake of testing it. A V-framed, but we'll use birch. That should really stand out as a much lighter wood, if the wood matters. I can only assume that it does, since uh, it always seems to matter in every other way. Now, how does that look? Uh, actually, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, we'll uh, continue with that. Let's get ourselves a rail fence made of birch, of course. And we'll place that there. Right, that brings us out on top up here. So uh, I'm going to let them finish off building those for now. Now, how are we going to set all of this up? Well, this is uh, a wall, obviously, but uh, are we going to continue this? I think we will. So first and foremost, oh, will we have loads of different things? Oh, we will. Okay, smooth floor, block, stone, soil, ceramic, carved floor. I'm tempted to know what the card for looks like. I can easily do that as well by just doing this. Oh, I like that. That looks nice. That actually looks quite nice as well, to be perfectly honest. Oh, RoboBob has, has, has given, uh, spoiled us a choice this time around. Okay, right, we want some floors, and we're going to go with regular block floors first. We're just going to get this uh, place built out. Then we can worry about uh, what type of uh, swanky new floors we're going to use for the actual design. There we go. We'll also bring this down there. And for the sake of it, we'll bring this out all the way across here. And we will need probably some brick floors there. We have got bricks. Good, good. And I can just bring that out. Uh, actually, we'll only need that part to be brick. And then this one can be regular basalt block as well. There we go. Now then, let's have a good look at these. That really does look nice. It, to be honest, even just the smooth floor looks nice. And it also looks like the, the wood type makes a difference. Oh, this is awesome. I'm really, really happy with that. Really happy with that. Now, quite a few people pointed out that probably the main reason why we can't shoot them here is because we lacked uh, range with our weapons. So, I'm thinking we are going to need some steel to make ourselves... Let's see, where are you? Could we please be making blunderbuss barrels out of steel, preferably? Now, the thing is... Who am I going to have to equip these? That is the question there. I mean, if I'm going to make weapons, I would rather make them out of steel at this point. Since uh, that would allow them to become legendary steel weapons, you know, so on and so forth. Or alternatively, I could just make it out of a lesser material just to have someone training with a weapon and then upgrade it later on. Yeah, that's possible that we could do that. 
Um, yeah, okay, let's let's actually go that route instead. So we're going to want bronze for this one. We're not going to make a Malachite blunderbusses. We'll make one full squad's worth of blunderbusses. That means I need to check on this, make sure it is making up to eight bronze bars. Okay, good. All right, then. Crack on. Wow, that actually looks amazing. I'm really liking that. I'm really liking that, especially that carved one. But for now, let's uh, deconstruct all of these. Don't actually want them there. Now, over here, we have a fair bit of work to do, really, to set this area up. And right now, without having this area properly set up, this trap system's a little bit dangerous in not having it activated. But I do not want to uh, set this up and create the precedent of having that trap system turned on just because it's a little bit dangerous. I, I've said right at the beginning, I want this, this uh, fort to be open most of the time. I mean, we, we, we use the, the trap system. I, ideally, I want it to be open at all times. And, uh, you know, the trap system uh, is, is obviously uh, a slight deviation from that in that it, as we've seen, quite effective at just dumping things into a pit. But uh, I don't want to, to avoid the risk. And as I've mentioned previously, that's the reason why we're not using al an alpaca pressure plate system to make this all automatic. I want there to be a, the, the potential for things to go wrong, but right now there's, there's actually a staggeringly high chance of things going horribly wrong. Now, how are we going to do this? I'm thinking I would actually quite like to have some sort of wooden walkway, maybe, going along the inside. Or marble, even. Let's see, marble. Oh, you could even have smooth stone floors out of marble. We could try that. We'll just do one. Uh, actually, the borders kind of let that down a little bit. If the borders connected, it would look nice, but they don't. How about uh, carved floors, then, out of marble? How would they look? I imagine this is going to look a little bit too swanky. Yeah, to be honest. Though, to, to be perfectly honest, they, they might actually be quite nice down there. Instead of the engraved. In fact, that might be a nice uh, replacement for just having entirely engraved. You could have those uh, uh, interspersed with engraved. I quite like the idea of that. But uh, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to go with my initial thought, which was to have a plank floor. And we'll have that out of pine. Now, ideally I would like this to be too wide. There we go. And I would also like it to come out here, but uh, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Perhaps... Well, actually, I guess that doesn't really matter too much if I have that... Uh, this be behind there, and then up there as well. I mean, yes, it's going to gonna have a little uh, cut in there. So I could move this all the way across and have the ramp up of there instead. We'll have a look at how this uh, this looks once the uh, floor has been replaced with pine planks. And we'll make a, a decision then on whether to uh, completely change that section there. But I, uh, I like the idea of having that, have uh, pine planks around the walkway. We also need pine planks to come out here as well, since this is going to be open. So I'm going to have to build some more plank floors there. Oh, that's... Yeah, we'll, we'll go with the, the pine planks. This is basically a, a sort of a, an outdoors area, so it should be fine. And we'll also replace that there as well. I don't want to, to use too much stone here. I, I kind of like the idea of the, of the sort of the battlements having wooden floors. It seems because like, obviously wood is going to be a lot less heavy than, than stone. So if it's not got direct support underneath it, it makes more sense for that to be the, the material that you're going to use. And we're going to need to replace these parts in pine as well. Now the central part is going to be the, the, the tower moving up. I know we've just said that, oh, I don't want to have uh, have uh, this impression that there's no support. Well, yeah, that kind of ruins that, I know. But uh, perhaps I could have... Oh, actually, perhaps I could have 
some sort of uh, wooden beams supporting this moving across there. That would be nice. Okay, well, I'll uh, let the gnomes get on with that for now. As for down here, I think at the moment it's going to be a case of just waiting for them to die, which is unfortunate. But hopefully we can get uh, the, the bronze that we need. Who's due to be on watch right now? Really? No one? Wow. That's terrible, actually. Someone also said that uh, I've got this wrong. It should be uh, twilight, day, and then night. Uh, well, I assume that they, they understand the reason why day and night are reversed, because it's, it's based on the books. But uh, to me, twilight I isn't after six o'clock. At least where I live, at six o'clock it is, it is bright. It is daytime from six o'clock onwards. So uh, the, the hour of twilight would be somewhere between about four and five, um, based on, on, on the way the, the, the light hits the sky where I live right now. And that's what I'm basing this on. Also, someone uh, did suggest, what was it, uh, Watchmen. I'm not entirely uh, satisfied with that name. I may change it later, but for now, it shall be the Watchmen. But uh, we're going to pause the recording there, I think. I'm going to let the gnomes continue to build things up. Hopefully, we will start to get some sort of shape to this area and maybe even start working on the ta central tower that's going to be uh, reaching upwards. But I'm going to do that off camera because it's probably going to take us quite some time. But I shall return you should anything interesting happen. And I think a goblin just bled to death. Yes. Poor goblin. I, I'm probably going to have to let these guys out to uh, face my military, I'm thinking. Because just keeping them down there doesn't feel very sporting. Just letting them rot away. No. I don't like that. Also, I've kind of got an idea of how we're going to be able to uh, encourage golems in this area. But I shall save that for when I uh, bring you back. So, see you in a few minutes. And welcome back. As you can see, I've uh, settled on some of the design features of this area. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing in here. Perhaps I could have this as a storage area. Maybe some tables and chairs. I'm really not sure. I mean, I don't really want them leaving their guard station. But there's no mechanical way of me preventing that. Even if I were to make this a, a tiny little dining room. But uh, as you can see, I am changing some of the things over here as well. And we're going to continue with that. We want apple wood supports there we go as you uh, can see there the uh, bottom the floor was automatically placed i'm going to want to replace the floor here with a block floor actually make it an engraved basalt well i wonder because what i'm thinking is having a uh, moon engraved pillar there um I could have two. There's really no no uh, reason for me not to do that. Yeah, we'll go ahead with that. We'll uh, replace floor with engraved basalt on this one. Then we want to build an engraved basalt at the top. There we go. And then uh, we'll uh, wait for that to be done first. But as you can see, I've used the uh, carved stone there to uh, have some torches and as this area is more or less ready now let's go ahead and set up a patrol route let's see we want where are you patrol route there we go now the patrol route I would like this gnome to take will be from about here up to there across to here down and effectively just around I'm making the entire patrol route uh, I'm marking it all. I'm, I'm very leaving very little to uh, the, the gnome's pathfinding. Just straight lines where possible. And there we go. It's a, it's a cyclic loop uh, route. It should be uh, looped. Now, to work out... Uh, well, A, <laughs> what to name it. Again, I haven't prepared. But uh, B, who's going to be on watch? So, night watch are down here. That's fine. Um, actually... See, this is just the lever pulling area. And I'm really starting to think that perhaps, based on what we've seen so far, that having someone stationed here isn't really going to help. In fact, I'm, I'm really close to just getting rid of that, that guard station uh, in its entirety 
and then perhaps just hoping that my uh, patrolling gnomes will spot something. Perhaps I could I could do something with a, a delaying path that uh, allows us plenty of time for someone to be spotted on their way in and then get a civilian out there to pull the lever. I don't know. That may take some sort of uh, terraforming wizardry on our parts, but would probably be worth it. But for the time being, let's uh, just mirror this so it's uh, night, day, twilight. There we go. So we would like the uh, night watch, the day watch, there we go, or the afternoon watch, and finally the twilight watch. There we are. And I think I am going to get rid of this. Well... No, we'll, we'll leave this one here for now, but we'll mix this up. We'll have twilight, night, and day. So basically, each of the uh, others, each of, each of our, our watches has two shifts back to back. First, they're up here, then they come down and take over the lever pulling duties. We'll, we'll see about what we do with that. Um, jury's still out on that one. But, now that we have this area ready, let's go ahead and build a moon-engraved basalt block. Just about here. Then we'll have regular blocks over there, and as soon as that's all set up... I decided to go with a, a little actual uh, hole, like a sun shaft, and I'm probably going to uh, carry that all the way up. I am almost certainly, in my mind, I'm going to have a bell at the top. This is going to be a bell tower. <laughs> It's going to be impossible to ring the bell because I'm not going to make a, a stairs going up to it. Or maybe I will. Maybe that's what we could do over here. There, there will actually be a bell. Some sort of uh, thing to, to raise the alarm. Even though, realistically, it's probably going to be in such an awkward position to, to pull. It really wouldn't uh, serve a functional... Um, it wouldn't really serve a function in the fort. But it, it would look nice, I think. It, it, would, it would be thematic. So uh, we, might, we may well go with that. Uh, make a nice valuable bell, of course. And down here, I would just like a regular engraved wall. Okay, there we go. And that shows uh, the way that this area with the stone is being supported there. Ah, this area is starting to come along, though. I do need to give you guys a roof, because... Uh, <laughs> let's see there. Kalissa is, is currently sleeping underneath the stars at the moment. All right. Are all the torches placed? No, not quite yet, but uh, on the whole, I'm pretty happy with this, though uh, someone should already be patrolling. Why is that not happening? Hmm. That's a little bit of a concern. You're sleeping. That's really not good. <laughs> oh, you. Hopefully, they will eventually get into the habit of only sleeping when they're, when they're meant to be asleep, rather than uh, just going out there. And this is what I mean when I was saying that uh, it may be important to get other people into these, uh, into these squads. Fill out the watchmen with, with more bodies, so that uh, if the worst comes to the worst and someone does sneak off to have a kip when they should be on duty, it's not going to result in our fort suffering terribly for it. Now, down here, a couple more of the goblins died because uh, our, I think it was the Might Ringers actually did take a couple of pot shots and uh, clipped a couple of the raiders, but I think it's time that we uh, got in there. So we're going to designate a temporary guard area. There we go. And Poisonous Ancients are going to be here. Let's set you guys up. As soon as the Poisonous Ancients arrive, I'm going to break down that door. And I'm just going to have them all march in there. In fact, they're already on their way. Okay, that's good enough. Let's get this uh, wall removed. And uh, put these goblins to the swords. They, they are soldiers, after all. I imagine these ones are, aren't they? Yes, goblin soldiers. They, they may be goblins, but they, but they are soldiers. And soldiers deserve a warrior's death. Wow. Unless they've committed atrocities. Have you committed atrocities? You are goblins, after all. I'm not sure. Okay, Arch, though, you're free to shoot them. You can you can kill them in battle. They, they, they get to die in battle, but you're free to shoot them in the eye. It's a less honorable death than being stabbed, but, uh, well, you know. They brought this on themselves. They didn't, really, but... Right, there they go. They've already waded in, and they're already dying. 
Right, how many have we got? We've got uh, two soldiers there. Let's bring along our Might Ringers and well, pretty much everyone else. Might Ringers, Rumored Strikers, Poisonous Ancients can wade in. These guys are no longer defending gnomes. Because I don't want them just rushing out. And But uh, Lizzie there, I imagine, has uh, caught their attention. And here come the uh, backup squads. Really? Who are you? Fast, Owen? Oh, you haven't got a, a shoe on, apparently. Let me just double check. Are, are the militia properly equipped? Nomad arms, that's the uniform they should be wearing. The Nomad arm uniform, yeah. Hmm. We don't appear to have everything we need. Really? Revocane? <laughs> Revocane has shown up! What is he carrying? I hope this is something full of wine. That's going to make me laugh so hard. Uh, let's see. Can I, can I actually see it? Birch bucket. Wheat beer. Okay, well, it's not wine. It's a, it's a little bit uh, less potent than wine, but still, he showed up with booze. Well done, Revocane. Well done. Though, if only you hadn't showed up with booze, you'd have two pistols right now. Alas. Right, how many more uh, enemies are there? There are exactly two goblins. I don't anticipate that this is going to be a difficult fight for our... Uh, Illustrious warriors. There we go. And uh, this place can now be un remove the designation there. We'll set the poisonous ancients back up the train. Uh, there and there. You guys can sleep between the hours of 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Or you can do work, you know, whatever you feel like doing, really. Right, now, this is my plan. I'm hoping this is going to work. I, again, because I don't know how many um, uh, items are required to cause a, gob, uh, a uh, golem to form. Uh, golem nursery. And we're going to make this a very high priority. All I want here is a dirt. And uh, you know what? Okay, we'll have raw basalt. <laughs> Lapis lines alike, because I'm, I'm just not going to use it. We'll even have the bauxite there as well. Not the granite, the serpentine. Uh, well, yeah, we'll do that. And in fact, we'll even send. Let me just go check on something. Let's go see. We've got actually we've got plenty there. Okay, cool. Right, everyone, I would like this done very quickly. I would like. You to move the basalt and the dirt. Uh, sorry, not the basalt because we're not putting basalt. The uh, bauxite and the serpentine and the dirt. Grab your wheelbarrows. We should have quite a few. If we do not, yeah, we've got loads of wheelbarrows. Go grab the wheelbarrows, you idiots. Now, what I'm hoping is that they're just going to move entire stacks of dirt and, and things down there. And uh, then, when there are enemies in there, I'm simply going to delete the designation of the stockpile. These, this will mean that these items will then become un, unstockpiled. They, they'll be free items on the ground. They'll just be in neat stacks of 64. I'm hoping that will encourage golems to form. Dirt golems, I don't imagine, are going to be any particular um, threat to, to steel-clad uh, goblins. I don't even think lapis lazuli golems will really be that much of a deterrent. But it may, you know, they get killed, they fall apart. What happens in a little bit? They come back together, and then we just leave them in there. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to deal with them then when we want to get in there, but, uh, well, you know, that's just the way it goes. Is anyone else bringing anything else? No? Is everyone else sorted? Something is being brought along. From where? No? No one's bringing it? Is it you? There we are, some forks, by the looks of it. All right, once that's placed... Just uh, check this area, make sure there's nothing else in there I want. Nope, there isn't. Fantastic. We'll seal that area off, and then we just need to wait. Ah, I feel I feel rather cunning for thinking of this way of... Uh, oh, no! Come, come back! That's mine! You get... Someone build this wall quickly. He nicked my bauxite. What a devilish fellow. Come on now. Hurry up. I need this to be sealed quickly. 
And in fact, at that point, I may just release them. I'll, I'll, I'll take that away straight away and then we'll, we'll actually have golems. Because I don't know how long it's going to take. And again, I don't know how many things it's going to need. It might require hundreds of items to make a golem. Nor do I know what will happen when they break. That little part, I'm a little bit worried about. Is it going to be like Factorio when... Uh, you break down something storing a lot of items and suddenly explode everywhere. We'll have uh, flying parts of Lapis Lazuli just smashing the gallery up here. It'll be very, very crazy, but uh, there we are. Remove designation. The Gollum Nursery is complete. Fingers crossed. That is going to cause a lot of problems for someone. Hello, Merchant from the Loveland. Come join us. Maybe I should send you down there to uh, face the Gollums. I don't think that would be very nice, but uh, still, it'd be funny. Right, how's the patrol route going? A mission from Love Slave. They've heard of our of our awesome uh, golem nursery, and they've all come to have a look. Well done. They're as eager for the new patch content as anyone else, it seems. But yeah, that that, that looks okay. We uh, do need more orange wood. Uh, that is apple wood, I believe. Yeah. Mm. Could go out there and chop down some orange trees. I'm not really feeling that, though. I, I like having that uh, emergency stockpile of food out there. My god, really? It doesn't rain, but it pours. Okay, well, I am going to wrap this episode up there then. We have a lot of merchants showing up to Castle Goat. In between this episode and the next, I'm going to check over their inventories and uh, prepare the purchase screens and the, the trade screens. And when you return, I'll show you what I'm going to be trading for and what I'm going to be selling. And then hopefully we will uh, move on and possibly see a golem or two in the very near future. But that is all from me. I do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.